Welcome to the Battle of Kings. King, uh... I don't know which kings England has. Let's present the players. Got Crackety here playing as the English in the color of teal. Against his opponent. The beat Kim. And I believe this is Poppy Paw. Playing as also the English in the color purple. So it will be very interesting to see a mirror. Now, I, I don't... I don't do mirrors very often, and the reason is, actually, I almost never do mirrors. The reason is, this game is so good with variations that it's almost a crime to see a mirror. Like, like, it, they do so much effort on, on making those civilizations different from each other with so many variations like when you play the English, when you play the French, when you play the, against the Japanese, anything can happen. Your plan can ha can can change. The way you play can change. Not everything is the same. But when it's a mirror, it's like okay, okay. Uh, however, I'm I click on this game because I have some suspicious suspicion that. These players are gonna are gonna go for the king, and I'm curious to see their strategies. And you should too, because the king is out. And I hope we see it. I hope we see it. I hope we see you know the king being a thing now. Probably the counting hall will be better, but I don't know. I really like that, you know, that update because we're talking about variation before, right? We're talking about how every civilization is different from each other, right? But suddenly when, and even you have two different types of ASAPs, not only one, two different types. Like, it, it makes so many choices here. Look at that king. I don't know any king of England. Um, who can be king of England? I don't know, I, I need to figure out. I need to figure out. Charles, no, that Charles was a... Uh, Ch Charles was French, I think. Uh, uh, anyway. Uh, so much variations, and even two landmarks can be very different from each other. It just changed completely the game. Like, for example, here, uh, Puppy Paul. I'm just gonna call him Puppy Paul. If I'm mistaken, I'm mistaken, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put it in the comments, but I think he's Poppy Paul. So... Abbey of Kings, there you go. So, just the way you you play the game is totally different. Depending on which landmark you go, it can completely change the trajectory of the whole match. Completely. Like, it really can affect that. Even if it's the same civilization. So, I think this is a, that's why I think this is a great upgrade update. It's forcing players to play differently. Like, like it's like, oh, I go causing hole. No, I go Abbey of Kings. Okay, like, cool. Uh, we have different stuff going on. But anyway, I I've been streaming recently, and I kind of enjoying it. I kind of I, I kind of enjoying it a lot. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm putting these videos like one a day. I used to do two videos a day and I tried, okay, let's do two videos a day and I tried to stream. That was too much for me. That was, that I was mentally exhausted. Like, you may not notice, but like doing this video is actually very hard. It's very hard, very energy consuming. I, I don't, I don't mean like hard, like, man, it's the hardest thing in the world. No, it's not, but it, it is, it, it, it requires some effort. And having two a day, it's really, really energy consuming. And plus, if you want to stream, obviously I'm, I'm streaming on YouTube. I'm not streaming on Twitch. I know there are a lot of features on Twitch that that you, you guys like. I'm sure of it. Oh, look at that. Similar Asia timings. Uh, but this one go, got wheelbarrow. But I, I didn't check, like, the Abbey of Kings was with two villagers. But anyway, uh, I'm streaming on YouTube. I'm streaming on YouTube just because it's the platform I use. Look at that, the stable. 
coming for Habiba. Screenshot of this memorable moment. We have transition from Lombos to Stables in just a single update. Look at that, the king. And uh, yeah, I, I will be streaming on YouTube. Uh, not not on Twitch. Uh, many reasons for that. I want to have the whole ecosystem in, in YouTube. Look at that. And Kings will cross path here. And yeah, I, I know Twitch has a lot of features. I know Twitch has a lot of things going on. Um, YouTube has some of them, like channel memberships and this kind of stuff. I do have channel memberships. Uh, if, if you want to join, I have some like... Uh, some badges here for for your for your name. Some like uh, I create some icons there. I create some icons. Uh, I don't have any member at the moment. Uh, I, n I haven't really tell anyone I have this actually. Uh, but is there is there the option? Uh, also some emoticons. Uh, not emoticons now, but I'm gonna put that later. And let me see. Let me. I, I have faith on YouTube on on their upgrades. And look at that. A uh, horseman pinching the ass off of the king, uh, surrounded by English archers. Looks like the king went down. Uh, classic battle of kings, you know. Classic battle of kings. That the king and his, uh, is it? His comedian, his, uh, his buffon, something like that. Is it buffon? The the word like in Spanish is buffon. Like the guy who makes you who makes you laugh. But anyway, you lost the king, but you do have a second town center. Looks like Puppy Bow will go. You know what? I actually go for a second town center, but this one is gonna be a palace for the king who just won the fight. And looks like Puppy Bow have checked that out. Most likely. I mean he already checked the storm for sure. So, he, he, they, there were a lot of villagers on stone, so he's going back, he's going back for for the king's palace, he's going back for stay here and never go out again. I always forget to take the king out, but it's actually very, if you think about it, if you have a big army and you heal them passively when you're not attacking, it's huge, you're not losing units. Like this horseman, for example, this horseman got damage, but because the king is healing him by some kind of witchcraft, uh, he he's he's back, he's back, and now that's one unit. Imagine if you have like more than twenty or thirty military units, all of them healing, like you, like you decide to not you you decide to retreat from a fight, you you don't want to. Uh, you know, lose all your army. Let, let's retreat. Obviously, some some units are injured. That's the king. That, that's uh, what's the king is for. And now let's see which Lamar and Krakety will go for, because he does have a second town center, which he he got it before. Like if you think about it, which one is better? Like going for Castleish and having a town center, or just going for a second town center in the in the field age. Which one is better? I do have a feeling that King's Palace should be a better choice. I do have a feeling. I mean, you don't need to worry about Asia anymore. I mean, Crockett is mining a lot of goals. Obviously, he's he's going castle soon. And he's gonna go get some Spearmans of his own because the King is out and now this King is a little bit more tankier. Almost 300 HP. Scout. And I, this is one of the riskiest jobs on, on Age of Empires 4. The scout. Just you know, just go to the enemy base and tell me what you see. It's like, oh my god. No farm transition for, for Puppy Bar. He's just getting those resources. No, no need for a farm transition yet. Crackety. Playing farm build here. We have two farms, so he's gonna be having a great time with the food economy. Couple of spear on there, gonna scare that knight. It's like nobody, they don't, they don't pay me enough for this. 
Like three spearmen should be more than enough to, to protect against one knight. Meanwhile, Papi Pa. Getting those relics. Already one relic coming home for him. Crackety. Almost there. We're already 10 minutes into the game. Let's take a look at income per minute. Yeah, that's that's the beauty of the farms. That's the beauty of the farms. Like just have such a solid economy for the English. What are you eating here? Is that the boar? Oh, it's a sheep. Why is a sheep here? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looks like the the scout went here. They, he he grabbed the sheep, and now the uh, they they're just dealing with that. The king against the peasants. Like who who will win this one? The peasants actually doing quite a decent job here. Not gonna stab king, and looks like the king is gonna go down once again. A couple of spearmen. Uh, the real Baffon's gonna save the king for now. And the good thing about this guy is like he can just heal. You know, he's already back to 20, 22 HP, 24, 26, 28, and that's how it's gonna be. Uh, English villagers are really something. Looks like we're gonna see the king's phallus here. Um, not a little bit of a greedy play coming for Craggedy, but at the same time, he's not in danger of dying, you know. if. Like, you can go the King's Palace if, you know, your opponent is not really trying to kill you. He's just getting relics, you know. Not really ra raiding here and there. Not really going into your base with um, 30 military units. And then it's like, okay, you go King's Palace, you basically ask him for that. Oh my god. Just like this one. Battle of the Kings. Okay, a beautiful screenshot of this one. And I love this. I, I love this. I, I love that new ways of playing Age of Empires 4 have a rise. Archery range. Going out for, for a crackety. Gonna get those crossbows out. The king also going out for him. No, it's a good raiding unit. You can attack. If you're gonna die, you retreat. And then you come back alive. You don't lose it. So it's it's quite good. It's quite good. Nothing like farm bill here. One relic is very safe into Kragadis base. Knights are gonna find the spearman. Brave spearman. The king comes here for help. Looks like the king will go down once again. <laughs> Use it again. It's only 200 resources. Not that bad. Not that bad. Veteran C4, the spearman, uh, it's out. Have a little helmet here just in case. Uh, you hit your head. Looks like Puppy Boys macroing for going into the Imperial Age. It, it seems to me that's that's the case. It seems to me that's the case. I mean, he doesn't have an army where it's like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna kill you, so just let's just go Imperial. And the number of spearmen is scary here. You don't really want to raid with those guys here. Get out of here. I don't know, the king is healing. They are having a great time. Look at that, 2 HP each second. Three relics going off for Papi Pa and... Oh my god. What are we witnessing here? Now... The king was not the only update that the English got. Also, the Wingor Palace got some interesting updates. For one, uh, I think it, they reduced the cost of the units, but I think people think it's still very expensive. Oh my god. The new patch is crazy, guys. The new patch is crazy. And you know what would be funny? Like, Crockett here also goes that landmark. And he's gonna get a Wingard Footman. Produce army of six Wingard Footmen for 300 foot, 400 gold. 
Now, you do have enclosures here. Uh, so, technically, that gold is kind of free. Gold is not really an issue for Papipa. Like, he has Fort Relic going home. So, with that, and when his farm transition is completed, gold is not really going to be an issue for him. See that? Wingard. Wingard army. See more Wingard army. The Rangers will, will be very funny. Raiders. Oh, I would love to see the army here. Look at that. The Spearman is like, I ain't scared of you, buddy. I'm better than Spearman. I'm a. I'm not just your average, you know, Dark Age Spearman. It's like Rackety says, you go Imperial, you want to do that? I'm going to send all my army, all my wooden army here. You're going to regret doing that. But just like that. Look at that. The Wingard army is here. And they don't... They are no joke. They have 280 HP. 280. 20 damage. 5 range armor. 3 armor. So they, they are quite quite strong. They are quite strong. And with that, Crackety lost all his army. Looks like he will go to Imperial as well. What is he going to try to create? Is, is going to go for the Wingard Palace? Look at that Wingard range Rangers. Now oh, the, the the thing you need is a blacksmith. There you go. Blacksmith is already here. You need pretty much more than one. Uh, you have only one, so no university for Papipa, so no incendiary arrows for him just yet. The king is gonna be dealing with the hand cannon here. Take down that that monk. Meanwhile, Berkshire on the front of his base. It's gonna be very safe, a very defensive style coming from Crackety. And this one produces knights and horsemen. And just like that, I mean. Technically, how many units is here? Three knights, three horsemen. Three knights, three horsemen. And this costs 850 resources. So the knights itself, the knights are 120, 120, 220, 660. So basically you're getting the horseman for free, right? Basically. You will need to get those elite upgrades and more raiders. King just chilling here, killing those units. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this unit. 100. And these are expensive units, so it's it's better if you if you upgrade it. It's like Rakiri here. Not gonna be here anymore. Closure is going up for Crackety. Tight Barnes. Going for the big king. Also, elite horseman. Going up for him. The, the wing guard footman. Crossbows are there for Crackety, so, so they should be having a good time dealing with this army. The Wingard wing Ranger, look at that, 125 health, 12 damage, and they, they do have uh, 9 tiles range, that's longer than a longbow, right? I believe it is, oh my god. Look at that, just sniping villagers from the distance. Look at that range of these guys. Oh my god. This is... 
This is disgusting. This is really disgusting. Crockety just building more man at arms. It's very safe at his base. Look at how many farms he have. He's going full vegan here. 66 farms. But a lot of villagers dead. But he's having plenty of gold. But let's see if he he can manage to, to deal with this. The king also here. King charges. Gonna get melted by the hand cannoneers. King is dead. The crossbow mass. Gonna be dealing with this very well. But there is a big army coming here. What the hell am I witnessing? Elite knights coming for David King. David just producing from the Wingard Palace. Doesn't need anything else. Like archery range, Wingard Palace. That's it. Do we see a university? No university yet, so no, uh, you know, age 4 upgrades for those guys. Meanwhile, this army is dealing with this. This one is the one you need to be careful. 17 knights in the field. And the Berkshire is nowhere to be seen around the farms. Well, this guy's just gonna be annoying here. This is a big raiding party. Oh, look at that. Look at how many, how many units. That's... Those are some serious... This is a serious army. This is a serious army. And it's also coming from here. It's like there is a spot available for... Poppy Paw to, to go, come here. Looks like the crossbows will go down and more units will go come from the Wingard Palace. Only in 20 seconds you get all those raiders. In one minute you can get almost 20 knights. No, not 20 knights, but 3, 9, nine knights in one minute. In two minutes, 20 knights almost. Plus the horseman that you get for free. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's butchering everyone here. And I don't think Kraken is gonna be able to, to get a life off this one. Berkshire Palace just doing damage here. But the knights are just raiding everything. 38 villager kills so far. And that Wingard Palace is still working for him. Still working. So this 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 must have no no even biology is here. Like we don't care, we don't we don't need biology. Like just gonna send the knights to be getting those upgrades really soon. Meanwhile, on the back of the base, also more villagers going down. 80 so far. Nine military units for Crackety. And he taps out. Well played by these two players. I put a link in the description where, where you can follow uh, both players. And I will see you in the next one. Hope you like this one.